to my YouTube channel. My name's Nige, but everyone calls me Nige, so you already know you can call me Nige. Today we're going to be talking about one of my favorite, favorite, favorite varietals, which is Sauvignon Blanc. So to get my recommendations for what you should be trying in this varietal, keep on watching. So Sauvignon Blanc is probably one of the most recognizable white grapes when it comes to white grapes. This is probably the most recognizable when you go into supermarkets or liquor stores or around a whole bunch of wine. If you see it on a restaurant a wine list, Sauvignon Blanc is probably there. It originated in Bordeaux, France, around the Loire Valley. Uh, this is in the southwest part of France. But besides all of that, there is uh, Sauvignon Blanc grapes grown all around the world. Don't get me wrong, but there are certain parts of the world that Sauvignon Blanc grapes thrive in, and New Zealand in particular, Marlboro, um, have really been coming out with some really uh, interesting Sauvignon Blancs and the world is taken by storm by the way that they cultivate, harvest, and produce Sauvignon Blanc. When it comes to Sauvignon Blanc, there are tastes of lemon and a lot of zest, a lot of grassy notes that are also in there. The reason why I like it so much is because of the minerality, this like nice um, earthy tone and elements that they have to Sauvignon Blanc. Um, it's very grassy and greeny, very zesty, very grapefruity, lemony. I'm putting E at the end of all of these words. I don't even know if that's a thing, but uh, this is truly one of my favorite white wine grape varietals. I am so excited. I could name you 40 recommendations in this varietal, but I'm going to limit it down to a few. And then I thought that we would taste one of probably the most recognizable Sauvignon Blancs is the Kim Crawford. So let's get into it. One of my favorite Sauvignon Blancs to have in the summertime that I think every person should try once in their wine tasting journey is the White Haven Sauvignon Blanc. This is one of the most brightest, lemony, zesty Sauvignon Blancs I've ever had. It has a really nice balance of zestiness with the grassy notes that are in there. This is really, really good for like those uh, summer gatherings that you have with people. It's not too intense, it's not overbearing. It's just really nice and light for the summer, which is why I recommend it for the, you know, summertime or warm time. I really don't know a seafood dish that doesn't go with the White Haven Sauvignon Blanc. So totally recommend if you're having, um, you know, a gathering for the summertime. Sauvignon Blancs also have a wide range of taste. They can uh, lead medium body to full body. And this next one is definitely on the full body scale. This is the Joel Gott Sauvignon Blanc. This is so good. This is for your evening, summer, you know, wines. This is really good. Honestly, this is good all year round. Who am I kidding? This is really full body. It has this nice vanilla note to it. Um, it's really uh, earthy. And I think that what makes this so interesting is that how the vanilla complements the citrusy notes that are also in this wine. It has a really nice minerality. It's just super balanced. And um, I, I hear about people talk about this wine all the time. When it comes to Sauvignon Blanc, this kind of gets thrown around in the mix and I see why it's beautiful, it's full bodied, it has this like nice vanilla which makes it really special. So I definitely recommend this for, you know, your evening time wines, you know, when it starts to warm up, but you know, why not drink it? whenever you know this next one is probably one of my favorites it's the most iconic when it comes to sauvignon blancs in new zealand it is one of the most premier sauvignon blancs in new zealand and also it's just really damn good i don't have anyone ever tell me oh my god i didn't like this cloudy bay she is an icon she is a legend she is everything she has this really nice beautiful peachiness to it um i pairs excellent with seafood like this was the wine built for seafood recommended by so many psalms uh, if you go to any type of wine store and they ask um you know what kind of sauvignon blanc are you looking for today they're probably going to pull this for you just because it's so damn good and it's so recognizable and i think because it's so uh, bright and well balanced it's high in acidity which is just really nice it really complements dishes really well it's really uh, flavorful you're really getting a nice bang for your buck I thought it would be cool if we did a live tasting of one of the Sauvignon Blancs. Uh, probably the most notable as well is the Kim Crawford Sauvignon Blanc. This is loved by the public, loved by Psalms, loved by winemakers, loved by wine critics. This is one of those, when you think Sauvignon Blanc, this probably comes to your mind as well. It's probably top two when she's not number two. This is our Kim Crawford Sauvignon Blanc. She is a 2020, so she is a vintage. Um, I'm actually obsessed with these come as minis just because I love when people try out new wines and they don't purchase a full bottle and it's more sustainable to actually get 
um, smaller bottles and if you don't like them to pass them on or to cook with them. So just always watch your carbon footprint and your sustainability when it comes to wine bottles. And the beauty about Kim Crawford, these are screw tops. So who doesn't love a screw top? I have tried this before um, and honestly, I can't get enough of this. When it comes to Sauvignon Blanc, if I could buy this by the gallon, I would. It has just really, oh, it has this really nice, beautiful, grapefruity melon. Oh, it just has this beautiful fruit quality that's just so zesty and fresh and bright. Oh, it's just so perfect. It's so perfect. And she is a nice, beautiful straw yellow. She is damn near almost crystal clear, but not exactly. Just has a slight tint to her. So we're gonna give her a try. Oh, so good. It's so balanced, so beautiful. Really nice on the palette. It doesn't stay on the palette very long, but it's really nice that it, it settles really nice in your palette so i think that that settling would make people want to drink it more and more personally i really enjoy the grassiness there is to this that really balances out the citrus it's just like ruby red grapefruit that's just so damn hypnotizing that when it comes to sauvignon blanc kim crawford does it right every time mm. So beautiful if you're trying Sauvignon Blanc for the first time or you want to get into it and you want to you know pick a good one get the Kim Crawford start there and you know travel through the Marlboro regions and trying different brands you know but Kim Crawford and it's amazing and I just want to point out this bottle one I believe is right under ten dollars and it is beautiful the price point is everything i think that's another reason why the public loves it so much is because of the price point i am all about finding good affordable wines don't get me wrong i love trying beautiful 200 dollars bottles of wine but realistically that's not always the case so i'm all for finding wine that is not only easily affordable but also easily accessible this bottle is sold in supermarkets liquor stores i recommend it 100 percent that is all I have for you guys today. Thank you so much for hanging out with me and learning all about our beautiful Sauvignon Blanc. I know a lot of my recommendations were from the Marlboro region and there's a reason because they're amazing. So go out, happy sipping, always drink responsibly, and I will see you on the next one. Bye.